Cake Creek here in the tents. Cooking with Martha. It's going well. <laughs> oh my god, what was I thinking that I could actually do this? Okay, so hi, welcome. Uh, this is my Moxie Life. If you have never been here before, well, you are in for a treat. Let me just tell you, my YouTube channel is in the words of Forrest Gump, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Well, today we're gonna bake something. Baking with me should be an adventure. I am not a cook. <laughs> I don't really even enjoy cooking, but um, I thought this might be fun. So we're gonna make a cake today. We are going to, or you're going to come along on this journey. Um, the cake I am making is called a pumpkin spice latte cake. There is the recipe right there. Sorry, it's kind of bright. Um, so I've got a whole setup here. I've got my lighting. I've got an extra camera to show you guys. I mean, I'm just going all pro right now. So let's do this. Let's get into it. All right, come along on our baking journey. All right, so here's my ingredients. Um, flour, obviously, uh, granulated white sugar, brown sugar, um, baking powder, um, butter, lots of butter. Actually, I didn't get enough butter, so my husband's getting me more. Um, pumpkin pie spice and pumpkin puree. Uh, a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, Fondant, fondant, however you say it, to make the decorations. Actually, I do have four more eggs, um, and my husband's also getting me more eggs. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, pans. I did buy these new pans, which um, that's the one that eggs broken, so I guess I need to wash those again. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's get started. All right, once you have preheated the oven to 350, we're gonna prepare the pans for um, the oven by pouring a tiny little bit of vegetable oil in each pan and then you wanna smush it around so it covers the bottom and the sides wherever the cake batter is going to touch. Um, I have this handy dandy little brush to do it with. If you don't have a pastry brush, you could just use a paper towel or something like that. And then once you finish painting on all your oil, then you're going to take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it in each pan and then just kind of tap it around so it covers wherever the oil uh, was. Um, and that way, when you get ready to take your cakes out of the pan after they are cooked, um, they won't stick and you won't have to dig them out uh, like a savage and just ruin your cake that you spent all this time on. Um, and then just dump out the excess flour in the trash. All right, next step is to mix all the dry ingredients. All the measurements will be on uh, a link below to the actual recipe. Uh, we're going to start with our flour. Uh, there's only about five dry ingredients, I think. Uh, next step is pumpkin pie spice. And I'm very impressed with my measuring because a lot of times I don't measure, I just guess. And yeah, you can guess why I'm not a great cook. <laughs> Uh, next up, uh, baking powder, not soda, baking powder, a little bit of that, and uh, a little bit of salt, a little itty bitty bit of salt, like a half a teaspoon or something. Um, there it is. Okay, and uh, whisk that around until all those dry ingredients are combined. All right, put that aside, and then switch pans, herbals, and we're going to do the sugars and all the dry ingredients. We have two kinds of sugar. We have the granulated white sugar, and then also we have the brown sugar, light brown sugar. So measure those up, plop them in the bowl, and then we will add in ingredients, um, all the wet ingredients. So pumpkin pie, uh, no, pumpkin puree. Uh, I'm so sorry about my arm, what the heck? Hello, editing. Uh, pumpkin puree. And then let's see what comes after that. Let's see if I can remember without looking. Pumpkin puree and then oil. We got a little bit of vegetable oil. And then 
after the oil comes the melted butter, melted butter. Yep, there it is, there's oil. <laughs> and next up we have the melted butter. After we mix that stuff up a little bit, we're gonna add the really liquidy stuff. So there's the melted butter, mix that in. I love watching things being mixed. It's very satisfying to see the ingredients combine. And then add your eggs, two eggs, and mix those up. All right, once you have all your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients, then you're gonna add the dry to the wet and make sure it is completely combined no dry spots really make sure you scrape the bowl on the sides and on the bottom sometimes you can get a little pocket of uh, flour down there on the bottom you don't want that so stir that up and then once you have it all mixed up um, you're gonna grab your pans and pour your batter in the pans um, you want to try to get it as even as possible so uh, yeah just kind of eyeball it you don't have to measure anything, just pour it in there. And then once you're done, I like to kind of like shake the pans a little bit just to kind of make sure that they're like flat. All right, now we're going on to crafting. All right, so you're gonna get your fondant out and grab a chunk. Um, I thought I was getting a small chunk, but I ended up with a lot. Um, and then you're gonna add your food coloring. I wore gloves so that the food or dye wouldn't um, you know, color my skin and then mix it in by kneading it, kneading it, kneading it until it is the color that you want it. It doesn't have to be solid. It could be more marbly if you wanted it to. And then I began to shape it into my pumpkin shapes. Um, I did take a toothpick to uh, create the lines and then also to create a hole on the top in order to have a place to put the stem. Um, so I made a bunch of orange pumpkins and then I also made some white pumpkins. I wish I had made some gourds. Um, I did see on the picture on the recipe she had made gourds and it was really cute, um, but I did not do that. So once you have all your pumpkins made that you want, you're gonna grab another piece. Um, All the pumpkins. Um, all right, so you can make pumpkins that you want. I didn't too many. And then uh, you will move on and make your green. It's coming any second now. Green is coming. And yeah. All right, so I made some green. Definitely made way too much green. Um, and I made my little stems and then I also made some vines and some leaves out of the green and I did realize that the um, the person that did the recipe made their stems brown um, but I did not remember that until after I went back and looked at the picture so my stems are green and whatever who cares at some point those stems are green right in their life cycle <gasps> the cakes are done the cakes are done all right so I flipped them over onto these cooling racks and tapped them and nothing happened they did not come out so i grabbed a knife and then i just kind of slightly went around the edges very gently and then flipped them over and they popped right out hey guys so uh baking update everything has been going very smoothly so far i am on um, on almost the last step honestly like it's been a really easy cake to make it isn't any prize money the prize is the honor of being the best baker and being British. So um, here's the cakes. They are cooling the rest of the way. They're still just a little bit warm. So I'm going to wait until they're just a little cooler. You get that part flat. So you, what you do is you just kind of saw off the top so it's flat. And then I'll make two layers out of each one. Um, I need to make the frosting. So I'm going to make the frosting next. Um, the ingredients for the frosting are espresso powder butter, sugar, and eggs. I think that's it, yeah. And um, so I'm gonna make the frosting and then uh, we'll frost it up. And then I made these adorable little pumpkins um, that I'm gonna decorate it with. And that is it. 
This was way easier than I thought. I hope it turns out cute at the end. So we shall see. Thanks for coming along on this ride. Time to have a cocktail. It's uh, almost five, so. All right, so um, just one little word of wisdom. Read all the instructions. I am now making the frosting and it is a Swiss meringue buttercream, which I've never made before. So I'm starting by whisking the egg whites and then I did not film this step, I forgot, but I did put the um, egg whites and the granulated sugar over a double, double boiler to make the sugar uh, dissolve. And then I whipped the meringue. I whipped that into a meringue, which really worked well. It was amazing. Um, and then I added my cubed butter and I beat the bejesus out of it and I don't think I beat it enough um, in the instructions it said to cook it whip it longer if it looked like it does right there and I did not see that and so I just marched on ahead and decorated or started frosting the cake so yeah and i am a little bit impatient when i'm doing projects like this so i just figured well i've been whipping it long as long as it said and it didn't work so there um so as you can see it looks a little lumpy and it should that means the butter is just not whipped and it did not combine with the meringue um so i would like to try this buttercream again just to actually make it work um you know i need to achieve that <laughs> um so once i got it all frosted and uh as smooth as I possibly could with its lumpy butteriness. Um, I added all my super adorable pumpkin fondant shapes. Um, I added some leaves and I added a little bit of vines here and there. And I was very, very happy with how it turned out for the most part. I thought it was very cute. And here is my finished product. What do you think? Now, if you compare it to the one in the picture, mine does look a little browner, which I think is just because the butter was not completely whipped in with the meringue. So anyway, I'm not mad about it. Everyone said it tasted good. So there you go. I mean, come on, look at those birds. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, you deserve an award. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.